Hey everyone, back with another Photoshop tutorial. Um, this one was a viewer request. I actually got a DM from somebody asking how I made this image. They wanted to know how I got the kind of dark background. So I figured we'd walk through that really fast, kind of show the steps and how I did this. So um, this is what the original photo looked like. In fact, you can see it lines up exactly Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask out the car from the background. We're gonna add a solid colored background and then we're gonna put in some of these shadows just to make it look a little bit more real. So uh, the first step is let's make a duplicate layer. So you're gonna hit Command J or I think it's Control J or something. And anyways, hit Command J. That's gonna make your a new layer, a duplicate layer. And then we're gonna work off of that. So let's get the pen tool. And we're gonna zoom in and we're just gonna start cutting this shape out. So we're just gonna draw along, click and drag right along the edge of the car. We want a nice selection. So this is gonna take a minute or two. So I'm gonna actually speed it up. I've showed how to use a uh, the pen tool in a previous tutorial. So I will catch back up with you in just a second. All right, so now we've made a selection around the entire car. What we wanna do is we wanna right click. We're gonna click make selection. We'll, blend, uh, we'll feather it by one pixel. So once we have the selection, we're gonna go over here, click the mask, and now you see we have the car all cut out. It's on white, and a, or it's on a transparent background and it looks terrible because there's none of the shading or the shadows or anything like that, but that's step one. So the next thing we wanna do is, what I did in the original image is I picked some colors that were actually in the image to make the background with. So let's make a new layer and let's put this underneath and let's select our gradient tool here and we're gonna get the second gradient, the radial gradient. And then let's pick some colors that are in the image. So we're gonna grab our eyedropper tool right here and let's grab this kind of gray black color which has a little bit of blue tint because it was outside and then let's grab um, a little bit like lighter color like right in there. So we have those two colors and so if we go back to the gradient tool we're going to go here and we're going to click on this first one. So what this first one does is this gives our foreground to background color. So now if we come over here and we click and drag out till we click here and we pull out, you can see we have kind of that, that shadow that we had in the original image. So if we go back to here, you can see that general transition. All right, so that's pretty good for the first run. Now, so if you were to take this in a studio on a background, you'd have some little fluctuation in color here that would help define like where the floor met the back seamless. So what we want to do is we want to make that a little bit um, more um, darker than the rest. So let's grab our brush tool and see if we can get that with that. We're going to take our flow down. Um, we have a pretty soft brush, zero hardness, and we're going to paint that darker color. In fact, we may actually make that a little bit darker. And a helpful tool that you can use here is if when you click, if you hold down shift, it'll paint in a straight line. And then we can go over that a couple times. So you can see how we're getting that to be a little bit darker there. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to define where the floor is and we're going to do that by making a shadow underneath the car. So if we go back to our original image, you can kind of see how the shadow fell. It's really dark in the middle and then it gradually gets lighter as it goes out to the sides, but you still have a pretty sharp line here. So 
how we're going to accomplish that is let's go above layer three. Let's make a new layer. And for this one, we're just going to grab our circle marquee tool. And we're going to draw kind of that shape. And that's pretty close to where we want to be. We're going to finesse that a little bit. But for right now, let's go ahead and hit D to get our default colors for black. And let's hit Option or Alt Delete to fill that layer. And then we can hit D to deselect. And then we'll grab our move tool. You can hit V or this arrow tool. And we're just gonna push that up to where it needs to be. And then we probably need to turn it just a little bit. We'll hit enter. And so this is way too sharp. We, what we wanna do is we wanna go up to filter and then we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna put a Gaussian blur on this. So you can see already 43 is what I had from the last image that I edited. So we'll, let's bring that down a little bit. Actually, let's bring that up a little bit. So we'll go to 69 on that one, or 61, 61.9, 59, somewhere in there. Just so it's a nice smooth edge. And then let's make another layer. So let's hit the new layer right above that. And we're gonna go and we're gonna do that same thing that we just did. So we're gonna make that same kind of selection. We'll fill that with black. We'll hit Command D to see what we have. Maybe move that down just a bit. Then we'll rotate it. And then maybe this one we give a little bit less. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and maybe this one's only like a 10, a 10 blur. So what you can see is we are building those sh shadows on top of each other. So this is the shadow that we just made and this is the shadow from before. So it just helps give some depth to that. And then maybe this one even, we can Command T and we can pull this out a little bit further just so the shadow goes beyond the car a little bit. So that's not bad. Um, one thing that's really sticking out though to me is the windows now, since we have such a dark background um, the windows really stick out because it was shot against the sky, which is much brighter. So to fix that, what we can do is let's get our pen tool again, and we'll just go up and make a selection around the window. So now that we have our selection made, we'll go in, make selection again, just like we did with the car. And then we'll go to our adjustments and we're just gonna make a curves layer. So as you can see with that selection already made, when we clicked on that, we already have a mask made and we can go in and we can just pull those highlights down. We can darken all of that down quite a bit. And if we're still not happy with that, we can do that one more time. And let's say we just wanna do that on this section of the window. So we'll make the selection, feather it, and then we'll go back to adjustments. And actually for this one, let's say we wanna make a new layer and let's just fill that with black. And then we can, we can control how dark that is by the opacity. And then let's do that one more time here. Make a new layer, fill with black, Command D, and then we'll just bring that opacity to this one. Let's just grab our clone stamp tool and we'll come in here. And you can see here, I probably should have done a little bit better job on that selection. Um, so we can actually just go into that layer right there. Let's grab our brush tool with black 
And we'll just paint that edge away just so it looks a little bit better. And then we can do the same thing here. Um, it's the good thing about doing it on separate layers is you can go in if you make a mistake and fix it. Um, the best thing to do though is just to make sure when you mask that that you do uh, a better job. So I think that's kind of the basis. Um, what I did next is I made this ground a little bit darker. So to do that we can um, grab our brush tool again. We will make a new layer underneath the car. And with black selected, we'll just grab a big brush and we'll kind of paint in here. Now, if you go too much, the good thing is you can bring it back. And it's also good to build this a little bit. So if you do this in separate layers, uh, we can bring the opacity down. And let's say we want to focus like right in here. And same thing, we can make the opacity down a little bit. I think in here, one thing that I'm seeing is there's a little bit of spill from this. So I think we want to go into the mask and we can do this with a brush. Again, this is where a good mask really comes in into play um, because the one thing that kind of gives this away is you can see this light stuff kind of spilling through. So if we just grab our brush tool, we can go in and kind of paint this out. I think the other thing that we're going to want to do is go behind the car and add some darker shading to this area. Because you can see how we're painting the car away and it's getting a little bit darker and that wouldn't necessarily happen. Same thing in here. Same thing down here, this area. So if we make a darker layer, let's make a new layer, and we're going to paint in black, and we're just going to paint in some of these areas. So we'll grab a big soft brush and just kind of fill some of this stuff in. It'll help some of that blend in. I think it looks a lot better. The other thing that I see is we probably need to take care of this too. So this on this mask needs to be painted out. This is part of the background that um, is still shining through. And then the same thing, we would want to go to that layer and with black selected, just paint that away underneath. So you can see we're pretty close. One more thing that I did in this image that I thought kind of looked cool is I added this um, kind of shadow underneath it or reflection. Um, and to do that, basically I just took a duplicate layer of the car so actually, let's do this since we made those adjustments above. Let's click this and let's click above there and click uh, Command Often Shift E to make a stamped, stamped visible layer of those adjustments. And then what we'll do is with layer 11 selected, we're going to hit Command T and we'll do flip horizontal. Nope, we're going to click flip vertical. And so now we can just line that up. We rotate it ever so slightly. And we're actually going to put that underneath this car. And we'll bring the opacity down a bit. And we'll go up to filter. We're going to go to blur. We're going to go to Gaussian blur. Um, actually, 10 pixels works pretty well. And then we're going to put a layer mask on that. 
and with a black brush, with a fairly large brush, and with our flow turned down, we're just going to paint on the bottom here just to kind of hide some of that stuff. And we can change the opacity a little bit. And I think we're pretty close. One thing that I like to do is once I'm finished with the way that the I want the photograph to look, I will actually hit, I will actually make a stamped visible layer. So again, Command, Option, Shift, and E. And then what I'll do is I'll go into Filter in Camera Raw Filter. And I will do some overall adjustments to the image as a whole. Um, particularly in this image, um, if you go to vignetting, it'll help. And the reason that it'll help is it tones the overall image together. So you can see we're getting the edges a little bit darker. We're keeping that in the middle. And then the other thing that you might want to do is in the center, you can go in and add a little bit brighter color. I just find if you do a little bit of color correction to the image as a whole, it helps it look more cohesive. So we'll click OK. So you can see this was the before and this was the after. It just helps kind of unify the image as a whole. If you, one thing that I'm seeing with some of the gradients that we added to the background is you might get a little bit of this banding. If you do, here's a tip that might help with that. If you hit Command J on that to make a new layer, we'll go up to Filter and Noise, and we're gonna add just a slight bit of noise. So maybe, Maybe we can get away with like 1% noise. Let's see what that looks like. Click OK. So if we click before and see, you can kind of see the banding. So see the color banding there. And then this is the noise layer. So it just gets rid of that banding. So it looks a little bit more real. But there we go, uh, finished image, um, and it didn't take too long. Basically, all we're doing is cutting out the background, adding some shading to the bottom. We added a little bit of reflection, and we added a little bit of gradient background there. So hopefully you like this tutorial. Hopefully this helps you. Um, get out there and try this on your own. If you post it to uh, Instagram, be sure to tag me. I love seeing uh, what you guys are doing. But until next time, um, take care.